It's your man, Mr. Direct. Your man is back here today because your man wants to talk to you about the Trayvon Martin trial. Reason being is because on my Facebook status and all over the country watching the news, there's such great divide about this being a race issue, this being a self-defense issue, the Florida laws, and anything else that you want to think of that you can put into this. A lot of people are saying that this has nothing to do with race and they don't understand why the black community is outraged. A lot of the people on the white community who are saying that they agree with the verdict, most of them are saying this because honestly, in my opinion, they don't know what it's like to be profiled. They don't know what it's like to drive a car and have somebody pull you over because you're not in the right neighborhood. They don't know what it's like to actually have yourself pulled over and they ask the white girl that's in your car, are you here underneath your own accord? Are you sure that you're supposed to be here? These are what we talk about when we talk about profiling and why we say there's such outrage. Throughout history, our black youth has been killed for the craziest things by white men and they have gotten off. A lot of times people say you're throwing race into this. No, it's not that you're throwing race into it, it's that race is there and you're doing everything in your power not to deal with it. A lot of people have this, well, if you don't talk about race, it'll go away. Really? So if you don't talk about people overeating and eating too much food, people are just gonna stop overeating. People are just not gonna eat a lot of food. If you don't talk about people getting a disease all the time, people are not gonna ever at any point just not get the disease anymore. You honestly think that people are not going to just, things are just gonna stop because you don't talk about it. That's called ignorance, okay? Not talking about race in this profile issue is ridiculous. There is no way in today's world that you cannot talk about an issue and not understand it by going fully into it. Not taking the time to fully understand what's going on with this. To give you a better idea of this, when you say there's no race to play into it, there's no way race played a part in it, okay? In America, black people are locked up at a higher rate than any other nationality. For every 100,000 people, okay, 4,000 people that are black are locked up. That's 4,000 for every 100,000. For every 100,000 people in the same population, for every 100,000 people, 600 white people are locked up. These are facts. These are not made up out of the thin air. You could go up and you can look them up. That's where they're at, okay? To give you a better number, think about what I just said. The black community makes up 13% of the United States population. Total, make up 13% of the United States population. In that same population, the black population takes up 40% of the whole entire prison population. So you explain to me when you say that there's no profiling going on, they're not automatically seeking out black people to do criminals. How do we take up 13% of a country, but yet and still we take up 40% of the whole entire prison population? We all understand that prison itself is no longer just, we're gonna find a way to rehab these people. Prison is a business, and the business is to lock up as many black people as possible. Let's go into their neighborhood and let's lock them up. Let's go into their neighborhood and lock them up for the craziest things, okay? Do you realize that black kids are more than likely to go to jail for a first time offense? Seven to, it's seven out of 10. Seven out of 10 black kids are gonna go to jail for a first time offense versus two out of every 10 white kids for the same offense. Oh, well you need to be able to afford yourself a better lawyer. How? When you keep most of the black population in poverty, you give them bad education, you give them bad areas to live in, and then you tell them, why don't you pull up your old bootstraps and make a way for yourself? When you push people down for so long, eventually they're gonna come back and they're gonna bite you in the ass. Now, some of you are gonna say, Mr. Direct, we usually see you hanging around and being all lovely and joking around and having fun. Of course, but at the end of the day, this is what a lot of people forget. Not only am I a human being, but I'm a black man in America. The way your man, Mr. Direct, looks at it is, I still have a certain scope that I look at the world with. Just like if you are Spanish, you look at the world a different way. If you're a white woman, you look at the world a different way. If you're an Indian woman from India coming to America, you look at the world a different way, okay? If you're an immigrant and you're coming from the islands of, uh, of Tongo, you look at the world a different way. By dismissing the way that other people feel and think and see the world, basically what you are telling them is they don't matter. 
And then at the, other, the end of the day, you want us all to sing Kumbaya, my Lord. You want us all to say, no, there's no issue. There's no problem. My biggest problem is with those of you who ignore it, who say, I don't want to pay attention to the news because it's the media that makes it. No, the media doesn't all make it. What about us every day? Because that's what my whole real talk is about. It's, it's not about making you laugh. It's about making you think. And a lot of you refuse to think because as long as you've got a nice paycheck coming in every day, and as long as you can keep those Negroes, those thugs, those hoods out of your neighborhood, you're fine with it. Until little Becky decides to bring home a little Trayvon and then all of a sudden all hell breaks loose. At the end of the day, we're all human beings and we should all get along. But to a certain degree, you need to stop and you need to ask yourself, what are you doing to solve the race problem besides ignoring it? Because at the end of the day, if you're doing nothing to solve it, you're doing everything to help it. And that's what matters most. You're doing everything to help it because you'd rather ignore it. So continue to ignore it. But no matter what, your man, Mr. Director, is always going to give you real talk.